Okay, so Facebook pages are now um, having a button here um, so that you can have a call to action on your page. So whatever the, your most desirable action that you want your, your customer to do, so is it to call you, is it to, to shop, or you know, think about what, what you really want your customer to do if they had to do one thing. And then what you can do is you can create a call to action. So I'm going to talk you through it. So you just cl click that button there. You want to choose the button. So do you want it to say shop now, sign up, watch a video? Um, contact us or book now. So I'm going to do um, maybe book now and I'm going to put maybe the map on. Okay, and if you had a mobile website, you could put that in there. So Choose where you want people to send when they tap the button on an iPhone or iPad. So you want them to go to a website unless you have an app, obviously. Next. So choose where the people to send when they tap the button on an Android, again, website or an app. Depending if you've got an app, most of us just have a website. And then you just want to create. So here we go. Here's our call to action button now. So it's ready on our page. Um, and so we can test it. I'll finish it. So we want to... Go to link. So it's going to take us to our keepsake map. So it's also showing there that we can edit it. So if you decide, you know, if I decide that we want to do shop now or just contact us or something like that, then um, I can go in and, and change that. So that's how you set up a call to action button on your header, which is definitely worth doing.